Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whole lot brighter. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Connor, back with Muscle Addiction, man. If you're new to the channel and you don't know it's a vibe, make sure you stop this video right now. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Y'all know the deal, man. If y'all know, y'all know. Man, we out here in the truck again. Man, it's, it's truck season. It's truck season. We shooting that, man, hella truck content, man. Like, we be out here. But, uh... Man, this is gonna be a uh, how-to video on how to um, install fog lights using your factory um, valence and stuff like that for less than uh, fifty dollars. So, uh, so y'all the parts and stuff I got. I think I got these off of eBay right here. Uh, they came with bulbs and everything. They come with the screws that I need, and I don't know what screws that these uh, require, but I went to the parts store. I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. It come with some um, lights already in them, but I'm gonna put the link in the description where I got these from. But I got my, my lights and everything. And um, what else I got? Got me some uh, connectors. Got me a fuse tap. Utility knife, but right now that's all I got. And then last but not least, a screw. I mean, a uh, fuse. No, goodness gracious, a switch. God dang. <clears throat> and then, as well as that, I got. It's also most important. It's a harness. Cause you're gonna need a harness, some way to um, power on those lights, obviously. And then I got some LEDs, some chest rays, or whatever. If y'all ain't gonna see that video with my LED upgrade, y'all go uh, look at that. But I got some LEDs for the fire lights too. I'm gonna put in there. But I'm pretty sure that's all I'm gonna need. Um, I think I gotta figure it out when I put this at. Try to uh, give me a spot to put right there. Put it up in there, whatever, so. Um, first things first, what I'm gonna have to do is uh, I think all y'all's mostly everybody else besides mine, um, they got, got one of them right here. They got these little clip things that uh, they go around the whole valence or whatever, but I got a lot of strings and stuff tying mine on so I'm finna have to undo all those I said it's gonna go all right around but I'm finna have to um take them off or whatever so I can get get these uh deals cut out right here on the ends if I can put my fire lights in so I'm finna start doing that and I'm gonna tap it in with y'all after I get that done all right you two I'm back Guess you don't really have to do this in any specific order, but got it off. It's off. It's tightly jacked up in the front. But uh, yeah, matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all. It's supposed to be on the outside ones right here. So I'm just gonna um, probably go in from the back side and just trim out the little piece right here, the edge. But as long as you get that, I think it's, it's fine. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my hardware that I got. But, oh, yeah. Radiator came in. I said came in, like, I ordered it. But these are the uh, part numbers or whatever. Here. And this could be a fail, possible fail. So this is only if you don't have none of that stuff. I'm gonna try to get one of these locked up real fast. I'll show you how I do this. Alright, so what was I gonna do? Okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Alright, what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna clip this on right here. 
Those fit in there yesterday. That's crazy. There's no way. Those literally fit in there yesterday. What? Bro, what? I'm finna have to run back to the bar stuff for real, bro. Alright, YouTube. I'm back, man. I done tweaked out, man. In a major way. I don't know. I feel bad, but then again, I don't. I'll show y'all what I ended up getting and the discovery that I ended up making. That's the reread that I am. Yeah. I'll show y'all this here in a second. And which, the part numbers that I gave y'all, uh, if partially correct, and then again, they're not. All right, so. I ended up going back and getting some, uh, finding some, uh, body screws. I mean, some mount, some of these. So that's the part number for those. If you, if you need those, I have to go, and, you know, take that up there. But, man, when I read this, I thought that meant, like, that, like, fit two different sizes. But it comes with those two sizes. The top one is this one right here. And the bottom one is these right here. So those two, this one was the one that y'all gonna need. I mean, really either one, but this is the one that I'm going with. But you gotta have the screw to match. And this, the screws that I got is the ones that match the M6, which is these down here. If y'all can tell, they're a little bit smaller than these up top. But, um, so that's why what was happening when I was putting those in there and the bolts kept on falling through. Like, I just so happened to put the same size wrong ones in there. So, oh shoot, that's gonna work really good. Those snap in there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to need a, I'm gonna have to get my screwdriver to take these out. I didn't know these were clamped in like that. Oh yeah, that's gonna work perfect. I'm gonna go get my flat here. I'm just improvising y'all. Just so happen to be getting the right parts. Out real fast all right youtube my battery's dying but this is what it's looking like with this one in uh i'm gonna let y'all know if these bolts end up being too long but uh yeah i think i just need to tighten these up a little bit that keep them from wobbling either that or put some spaces in there but i'm gonna tap in with y'all after i get uh these deals cut out and my phone charged up a little bit. I'm gonna put that one in too. All right, YouTube, I'm back, man. I got my little deals cut out. Look just like uh, everybody else would do. Got them all cut out. Just use the razor blade, whatever. It don't look the prettiest on the back, but nobody can see that. These little pieces right here. Back y'all up a little bit. Use the pieces I cut out. So, I only had to use one razor blade. A fresh one to do it. There's some like soft plastic, but those are the insert pieces or whatever for it. But yeah, got that cut out. And I got um, 
this tightened up. So, and I think everybody else is kind of wiggled a little bit too. And they said, I think you can just maybe tighten up on this little thing back here and it'll keep it from wobbling. But um, I sign for me, you know, I'm not tripping. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this put on. I mean, this uh, other fog light. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with these. Matter of fact, let me mock this up. Find out right now. I know. If I need to cut out like some little slots in here or something. fine I think that'll work so I'm finna get the uh, what you guys put in the other one on the other side take this out uh oh yeah I'm finna tighten this screw up over here on the side this little screw right here I'm gonna tighten this up take this book out right here Tighten it up. This is going well, guys. I don't think that's going to tighten up too much. Okay, I'm gonna get this put in and I'm gonna tap in with y'all once I get a little bit further on. But if I have any hiccups, uh, I'll let y'all know. But once I cut it back on, I might have this valence back on or whatever. But uh, because that's really all I gotta show y'all. And really, I'm gonna go ahead and put these LEDs in here now. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in there now. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there. Yeah. Yeah, but um, hope this ain't too lengthy of a video, y'all, and just a bunch of ripping and running. But I said it's for a good cause. Yeah, I'm gonna tap in with y'all after I get a little bit further on. All right, YouTube, tapping back in. How far I done got so far? See, I got both of the sides put in right now, and uh, got my harness ran. I started running it anyway. So how I did it, I went up through the top of here, over through there, and then I just zip tied them across through the, um, I think, what, brake line, whatever. And I ain't just got it tight, tight right now. I just got a little extra room just in case I need to move it. But I got them on. I already tested them out to make sure they work, because you know you can't, can't do all that and then uh, and then think that you know you're gonna be ready to go and it ain't but uh yeah I'm trying to figure out a place where I can mount this relay right now uh, uh in my ground uh on this on my truck but well, on these trucks it is a ground right there it's a ground right there and that black wire, I just, I unbolted that and then just put it on there. Uh, so, that's how I got that on there. And, uh, I said for my power wire, uh, 12 volt or whatever, I uh, took the fuse panel off and hooked it on here because this is for my fan right here too. So, um, I got that. So now all I gotta do is run Dang it, my trigger wire to my switch. So I'ma um, locate my, whatchamacallit, my wire and stuff like that. And uh, gonna get ready to extend that on through the firewall or whatever. Get all that wired up. Um, but I'm pretty much done. 
down here. I think I'll be safe to go ahead and put my balance back on. So I think I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Since everything else is working. So I'll tap back in with y'all as I get that. All right, YouTube, I'm back, man. Got everything put in. I got the, uh, I, I didn't put the wire back on. I put it on one side over here, right there on that side, cause uh, it was kind of hanging out a little bit, but I'm go search the rest of the parts stores. And Man, I thought I was recording, but I got everything put back in. Uh, I'm gonna get some more pop rivet things or uh, body mount rivet things so I can put it in there because that's how I popping out. But I got everything put in. It's looking really good. I think I did a good job in uh, cutting that out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run this wire through here or whatever, probably on the side of those. Then I tap in with y'all once I get that going. To chiming back in, uh, I took the little panel off right here uh, to take this off. I got this uh, little hole punched out or whatever. Got my wires ran. <clears throat> I'm coming through this little hole right here so I can close up the box and run my wires through the back of there, through the bottom of the dash. So that's how I did that. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like once I put this back together. All right, YouTube, I'm back, man. As y'all can see, it's nightfall, pretty much. Uh, I didn't get finished, but uh, I got a pretty good stopping point for the day. So, uh, that's what it's looking like. Got them all in. Got them all in. Everything went pretty smooth other than the wiring um just the heads up before y'all uh do what i did um make sure that y'all before y'all put what is going on okay well apparently that light's not gonna be bright enough but uh before y'all put in the switch make sure y'all know exactly like what's the ground what's the power and so forth and so on because uh, now I'm having issues with trying to figure out what um, wire goes where. And I've already shorted out uh, three fuses trying to just guess. So what I'm gonna end up probably doing tomorrow is taking this back out and um, figuring out what goes where so I can get this wired up right. Cause I'm tired of guessing, to be honest with you. And uh, it's just, uh, I'm gonna keep on blowing fuses and eventually burn my truck up. So that's what I'm not finna uh, end up doing. So finna, uh, go ahead and call it a wrap. There we go, I had to turn this back on, but I got this, man, this was just a guess metal or whatever, but this switch looks really good. It looks really good. You would think it's hooked up, huh? It ain't though, but uh, yeah, tomorrow that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in and try to figure out what's what in here and stuff so yeah. that's what um my day is going to consist of tomorrow but that's not going to be a hard task like i said i just got to take this back off and then um figure out what in there i'm gonna do so that's gonna be a, a stop point for the day um because it's done got too dark and the temperature's starting to drop um, so tomorrow I'm probably end up just tying that up and then um, put this radiator in. So in the meantime, I'm gonna tap in the job after I get through. I'm gonna cut my truck back on too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, whole lot brighter. I'm be one of those people that y'all gonna have to flash, cause y'all like, dang, he got his dog on bright song. Nah, but that's it, y'all. I'ma uh, 
tap back in with y'all tomorrow after I get um get back out here. I'm finna go ahead and clean up my stuff and bet it's relaxing. So I'ma tap back in with y'all tomorrow. Yeah. What it do YouTube? I'm back again with the next day, man. Y'all it rained last night. Something serious. So but it ain't gonna stop nothing because it ain't raining right now. Get y'all a good look at the truck. You know what I'm saying? In the daytime with the fog lights in its entirety. You know what I'm saying? But uh I'm finna go ahead and get ready to get this radio to put on here. Um I guess I should have turned that upside down. But I ain't doing no tripping. Yeah, you too. It's your boy back. Yes sir. I don't know where I'm at. This day, goodness gracious, live. Finna have to go to work in like an hour, so uh, <clears throat> got everything all pretty much buttoned up for the most part. And guess what it is, y'all? Guess what it is, y'all? Ready to put on bands and everything, all zip tied back up and whatnot. I already got my um, antifreeze in, all that stuff. Look a little wet down there, cause uh, yeah, had a little mess. But overall, it ended up okay. So yeah, I, I ended up going back to the parts store, but I got my wires ran through here or whatever. Um, how I ended up doing it was right here. I ended up. This is the, the wire that's coming off of uh, the relay right here. This is the um, the switched wire. And I just tapped it in with another wire. Put some heat shrink on it. With my little connect or whatever. So I, just, I tucked that up under the, the box. Then I routed it all the way through. Down there. So kind of did all my little stuff already um so yeah i got my little ground right there red wire is all i had so i know where everything is at but um that red wire is that's all, all y'all don't mind that buzzing ain't nothing gonna happen uh matter of fact hold on this is what my ground is right here I mean, yeah, my ground, board, everything right there. So, that's where I got that going. I showed y'all all that. So that's where I got that going up in there. So, that's pretty much how I got all that wired up for my switch and everything. So, man, it's really all I got for y'all. And then I know y'all gonna be wondering where I put the fuse tap, it's like, right there in there let me show y'all if I can zoom in on it but it's going in there up into where the switch is at but yeah it's the radio one that's why I got tapped in that so if the fuse I mean the uh, fog lights would come on when I got the radio on pretty much but that's why I got the fuse tapped at and you gotta make sure you put two fuses in there too. But that's where I got that going. So if you wonder where I got my fuse tap hooked into, that's where it's at. Uh, it's just me tapping back in or whatnot. Like a few days later or whatever. But uh, what's going on? Got everything all finished up. But uh, yeah. And y'all just uh, stay locked in with me. What it look like right here. What it look like. So, yeah. That's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Browse <clears throat> the channel, man. Going up all the rest of the year, man. So, y'all just stay posted, man. Most Edition, signing out. Yes, sir.